<laughs> All righty. All right. We got some things to address. We got some things to address. What's up, Justin? What's up, dude? Listen, guys. I get it. The Pelicans are missing their, their best two players. I get it. But there is no excuse for this supporting cast to be playing this poorly. The Pelicans are supposed to be one of the deepest teams, quote-unquote, in the NBA. And you're telling me they're going to lose to the Orlando Magic? This was a must-win game. If you wanted to keep up with the, the top three spots in the West, this was a must-win game. And you're telling me you go, you're telling me that you go down to Orlando, who really isn't that good, and you lose that game, and you pretty much you pretty much led the entire game, and, and you lose to the Magic, and we're one of the deepest teams in the NBA. Yeah. This ain't looking good. This ain't looking good. Pelican, they, they not looking good, dude. They started off great. I think they started off, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, 24 and 12. I think they started. 24 and 12. They're 2 and 8 since then. 2 and 8 since then. This team is horrible without Zion and Brandon Ingram. Ass. Straight ass. I mean, everybody. Like, bruh, I was sitting here at the beginning of the season whenever we were the number one seed through 36 games. I was sitting here thinking... Man, we might be able to go to the, the Western Conference Finals this year. We might be able to make our first ever Western Conference Finals appearance. And now, we'll be lucky just to get out of the first fucking round. We'll be lucky just to get out of the first round right now. And then the Pelicans got a, a brutal schedule coming up. Miami, you got the Nuggets coming, Milwaukee. Like, bro, this shit don't get no easier. And I don't know when when the fuck Zion's coming back. I don't know when the fuck Brandon Ingram's coming back. Even with the players that we have on the court, we shouldn't be losing to the Orlando Magic. just should not be happening like what the fuck pelicans i get it a lot of teams have their little downfalls during the course of an nba season i get it i understand but this team it just i mean i mean there's an obvious reason why this team has a is having a a so on so hiatus or whatever you want to call it a slip up is because they're missing their best two players and it just seems like this supporting cast just can't hold the weight it just seems like they that these players just can't hold the weight
Like, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it just seems like these these players just cannot hold their weight, even against the worst of teams. So, I think the Pelicans will still make the playoffs. There's no doubt in my mind that they'll make the playoffs. But at what seed are they going to make the playoffs? Because it looks like they were going to get a top two seed a couple weeks ago. And now all of a sudden, they might fall down to like seven. Like, this shit sucks, bro. That would be a huge disappointment if the Pelicans don't make the playoffs at a at a at a top four seed and get out of the first round. That'd be a huge disappointment. And that's saying something. Because the Pelicans usually don't have expectations. Jerry, it's gotten to the point with the sense that, I mean, it, it just, it doesn't fucking matter, bro. It, 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 like, to me, it just doesn't matter. I will always love my New Orleans Saints. Always cheer for them through thick and thin. And whenever the season does come around, I'm going to be up and I'm going to be up for them for every game. But it's gotten to the point to where with this organization, and this started from, this started, this, this rooted back from uh, trying to, uh, to, to sell C.J. Gardner-Johnson for Deshaun Watson. Whenever Deshaun Watson was, we, we, whenever we were in the, the sweepstakes for Deshaun Watson, whenever we were trying to, to put C.J. Gardner-Johnson on the market. And which ultimately didn't matter anyway. Fuck, at this point, we might as well have just gotten Deshaun Watson. We might as well have just gotten Deshaun Watson at this point. Shit. I wish that trade would have went through at this fucking point. Because at least we'd have a quarterback right now. At least we'd have a fucking quarterback. And we still, we still ended up giving away C.J. Gardner-Johnson anyway. So shit, I wish that trade would have went through. I wish he would have chose New Orleans, because at this fucking point, yeah, he would have missed the first 13 games or whatever. But I don't think that really would have mattered anyway. I think it would have been the same shit anyway. And at least we'd have a quarterback for next year. I mean, damn, bro. Well, that's just one of the many fuck-ups that this organization has made from last offseason all the way through this season up until now. Then you trade C.J. Gardner-Johnson, which, okay, he probably would have been a free agent now. But shit, I would have rather kept him around. And then you renegotiated that trade. That, that, you ended up renegotiating Michael Thomas's. Uh, you ended up renegotiating Michael Thomas his contract. So you probably could have paid him by now. You probably could have paid C.J. Gardner Johnson by now. And then okay, you keep Dennis Allen. I'm not mad at that. Okay, I'm not mad at keeping Dennis Allen. But you're not even gonna fire Pete Carmichael. So, I mean, I, and a lot of people are probably going to argue, well, 
there's not many offensive-minded coaches that are going to want to come and coach for Dennis Allen. And that's a good point. However, I think at this point, you get what you can fucking take. Or you take what you can get. Because Pete Carmichael ain't worth a shit. That ain't worth a fuck. He's horrible. Horrible. Like, I'd rather take some uh, tight ends assistant coach to come and be the new offensive coordinator over Pete Carmichael right now. So if that's what it took, if that's the the bear, if that's the maximum, like like keeping in mind that not a lot of people want to come and coach for Dennis Allen, if that's the maximum that we could get, I'll take that over Carmichael. Shit. Well, yeah. Now we're screwed with what we have. And rumor has it that the Saints now want two first rounders for Sean Payton, and you're not really going to get that in many teams. Um, the Texans aren't going to give two first rounders. I'd take the Texans' uh, 12th pick. I'd take that at this point. I'd take that for, uh, for Sean Payton, because at least you can draft an Anthony Richardson. Saints are going to probably end up giving it to Denver, draft uh, trading him to Denver, and I think that's an absolute bullshit decision or an absolute bullshit situation because Denver has San Francisco's first rounder, and that shit is is going to go all the way to the end of the fucking, all the way to the end of the first round. So. Denver better package us up something. I mean, not just that first rounder. You better give us your second rounder. I mean, and then on top of that, if that were to be the case and the Saints were going to say, hey, we don't just want that first rounder. We want your second and third as well. What's Sean Payton going to have to work with? What is Sean Payton going to have to work with? He ain't going to have no fucking draft picks damn near. So what is he? what is he going to have to work with going to Denver? I think Sean Payton's best bet is to go to Houston or Arizona where you know that, okay, if the Saints trade uh, the 12th pick for Houston, at least you got that, that second overall pick. And with Arizona, you got a quarterback over there. And you got somewhat some decent talent over there. Denver, I mean, shoot. Russell Wilson's washed the fuck up. That's clear as day. There was literally not one game. There was literally not one game that the Denver Broncos did not struggle to win this year. They literally struggled to win every game that they played. Exactly, Louise. Exactly. Dude's an idiot. He looks smart, but he's an idiot. Now, this video was originally about the New Orleans Pelicans, and I don't know what to say about those motherfuckers at this point. They're just, I mean, it's easy to say they're missing Brandon Ingram and Zion. These motherfuckers can't even sustain a 5-5 five and five record. 
over the last 10 games. They can't even sustain a, a, a an average record. They're losing to the Orlando Magic. Like, who, who are you going to beat if you can't beat the fucking Magic? There's not many teams you're going to be able to beat. They play Miami next on, uh, I think, Sunday. They're going to lose that game. And then who do they play after that? The, the Nuggets or something? They're going to lose to the Nuggets. Shit. Yeah, the Pelicans look like they're about to hit 500 in a little bit. This shit ain't good for them. They're literally the backbone. Of all my teams, they're the backbone. Like, literally, if you're... The only way that the Pelicans can, can become, like, a legitimate threat again is if when Zion and Brandon Ingram come back, whenever the fuck they come back, I don't know if it's going to be next month, the end of the month, in a week, I, who knows? That if when they come back... They go on a nice little eight-game winning streak or something like that. That's the only way that they'll be able to become, like, legitimate again. They just, I mean... I, right now, they just, I mean... They're literally limping. Limping on a, on, and holding on to a playoff spot. Yeah, Sunday they'll probably lose to Miami, and and I mean that game starts when all the divisional games start, the, the playoff games. So I'm probably gonna be watching the playoff games anyway. <laughs> I'll be probably back and forth, but I'm probably gonna watch the divisional games. I think uh, yeah, Buffalo and uh, since I'll be I'll be watching the NFL. I, I won't be watching much Pelicans. Uh, uh, yeah, Jerry, at this point, uh, it's fucked up. It's fucked up to say that. I'm not saying you're wrong for saying it. I'm, I'm just saying it's fucked up that that's where it's come down to, that the Saints are going to suck this upcoming year. They're going to they're gonna suck. And at least we'll have a first rounder. But they're probably going to suck. My purple ski mask at <laughs> you funny unknown you funny with that 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 oh man that that just gives me extra motivation not only to keep my beard and my mustache and or keep my facial hair but to continuously get my hair cut and uh work out and because that dude like that guy le legit looks like me on a bad day like I look like that on one of my worst days. Like, literally, on my worst day, I look like that. And that, oh my gosh, that dude's ugly. Oh, no, Brute Saint. That's, uh, that's, uh, this, you could take that however you want, dude. The Pelicans look like they were coached by fucking people tonight. I don't care that your best two players are missing. You lose to one of the worst teams in the NBA, and you can't you literally hit brick all fourth quarter. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, I already saw it. I did. I did. This organization's just screwed, dude. Uh, Mickey Loomis is at the point where, okay, you've been here 20 years, dude. It's time to go. It's time to go. Gail Benson, I think it might be time for you to sell the fucking team. Because <laughs> you don't know what the hell you're doing either. 
oh, well, well, this is Dennis Allen's decision to keep him around. This is the coaching staff, you know. he That's his personnel. He has the, the say-so as well. Uh, no. Mickey Loomis can easily, easily fucking get above him and say, nah, Pete, you're not coming back, dude. And if Kamara wanted out or he wanted to get traded, I would not blame him. I wouldn't blame anybody for wanting to get traded at this point, dude. These dudes are just fuck. How do you let yourself get this bad? How do you let yourself get this fucking bad, bro? And Sean Payton wants us to send him wherever he wants us to send him to. I'd send Sean Payton wherever the fuck we, we want to send him to. Dude, you left us high and dry, bro. Just in the middle of nowhere, just left us. No warning, nothing. Just straight left us. And you want us to compromise with you? And send you somewhere that you want to be sent to? No, motherfucker. If Houston offers us that them first rounders for you, shit, you're going to Houston. Or you're just not going to coach this year. Oh, I hear somebody listening to Led Zeppelin. Here's Led Zeppelin. Might get a copyright strike, but I love Led Zeppelin. But yeah, it looks like looks like some of the Saints losing ways have rubbed on the Pelicans, so And she's buying a stairway to heaven. There's a lady who's sure all that's glitter is gold. Yep, good music, good music. That's good music. Uh, but yeah, it's a, I mean, Jerry, back to you, man. You can sit here and talk about how you're ranting and all this shit and all that. I mean, your ranting ain't gonna... Your ranting doesn't mean shit. My ranting doesn't mean shit. It's to the point to where... Pff, they wanna go... The Saints wanna fuck up? Let them fuck up, bro. I'm gonna still love y'all. But if y'all fuck up, that's on y'all. I'm not gonna sit here and waste my breath. Why, why isn't Pete Carmichael fired? You know, what the, what's the point of that shit? What's the point? They're not gonna see me. I mean, I literally told y'all the other day, I think anybody can make can, anybody can make a better play calling sheet than, than Pete Carmichael. And you don't have to do much. All you got to do is just literally fucking take a piece of loose leaf, put like 11 X's to represent the offense and where the wide receivers are, are, are lined up and the tight ends are lined up, just put up up left, up right, uh, curl, that's it. That's all you gotta do. You've already written a, a better playbook than Pete Carmichael. So, that being said, see you guys later. Hope the football games are good the next two days I'll be watching. Got me some sun chips, got some cookies to bake. I might get me a little barbecue on Sunday. Not sure from where, but we'll see. Y'all take it easy, and I'm out.